gentlemen, a uh, question for Darnell. Darnell, you've been around Conor McDavid for a few years now. I'm wondering if you can talk about how, how you've seen his game change this year and uh, what that will do for your team heading into the playoffs. Yeah, every year uh, you know, he seems to bring back something different. I know everyone's talking about the, the offensive side of his game and all the points he's able to put up, but I think uh, even more so the, the way he's committed to, to playing in the D zone and checking and, and playing the right way, being above pucks, I think, you know, it sets the example for, for our group as a whole, how, how committed we have to be to be successful. Uh, it, it's got to start in the D zone. So I think that's uh, part of his game. Obviously, you know, he's, he had so many points this year, so he overlooked the uh, the defensive side, but he's, he's really, uh, really bought in there and um, he, he showed it uh, throughout the year. Ryan Rashog, TSN. Darnell, I wanted to ask you about Mike Smith's puck moving. Um, as a defenseman, like in what way does that provide the most help? Is, I mean, do you find you get hit less? Is it uh, like what way does that change the game for you defensemen the most? Yeah, obviously it's like having a third defenseman back there. So I think it, it adjusts four checks. Um, you know, when teams four check, you, you can't just automatically assume that uh, you take away the the two D and, and you're going to be okay. Smitty uh, not only plays it over to you and then puts you in good spots to to make the next pass, but he also can can bypass you and get up to the wing or sometimes even the centerman. So um, just just his ability to get out there and play the puck, I think it it adds a wrinkle when uh, when another team comes in and, and tries to forecheck our team. And uh, as a D man, it's always uh, it's always nice uh, when when you have a guy that can make plays like that back there. Uh, you played a lot of even strength minutes against Mark Shifley this year in the games against Winnipeg um, and, and obviously got some good results. Um, you know, what's the key to playing against a player like him and, and what did you do well against him? Uh, you know, I'd like that. Uh, is, uh, he's a great player and, you know, year in and year out, he's a, he's one of those game breakers each and every game. He has the ability to, uh, you know, uh, make you pay. So playing against it, you just gotta, you gotta be solid, be in the right spots and, and uh, try to eliminate time and space. Uh, it's you know, there's there's never uh, never an easy night when you're playing against a player like him. So uh, it's going to be a really good challenge here coming into the series. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Darnell, a lot has been made in the is always made in the playoffs about the two goaltenders. Is it does it usually come down to that? If your goaltender is better than the other goaltender, you're going to win the series. I don't think you could just purely put it on the goaltender. Obviously, yeah, in the playoffs, the the goalies make they can they can win you a series. And and I mean, with that said, a lot of times, you know that 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 team defense and then committing to it as a team and eliminating uh, you know a lot of those those high danger chances can be uh, you know can be very important and they are very important. So I'd say yeah, obviously. I'd, Obviously, having uh, great goaltending is, is important in the playoffs, but at the same time, uh, team defense and then committing to playing the right way, um, you know, each game and, and throughout the 60 minutes in each game is uh, is uh, very important as players. And how, how good is it as a team to have a fiery goalie in the net as opposed to just a quiet guy? Does it, does it matter? Juju's got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... It's huge. Um, you know, he's not he's not afraid to to let us know when we when we have more to do out there, and um, you know just how he competes. It kind of brings our level of compete uh, to matches. Uh, you know, we never want to let let our goalies down, and so it makes us be the best um, team we can be. Rob Kichkowski, Post Media. Hey, uh for Jujar, it's uh, it's been a while since this team has been in a in a full on seven game playoff series. I know you have some guys with some experience, but you have a lot of guys that don't have a bunch. Is how much of a factor is that going to be, and how long is it going to take for you guys to be comfortable in the playoffs? Um, you know, that's I think that's individually. I think, I mean, you never really know, but the way our attitude is, uh, you know, it's it's a. It's going to be fun and, you know, we're all ready to go and, you know, we're excited to be here. I mean, last year there was a little bit of a different feel with the season ending early, but this year, you know, coming straight straight from the season uh, into playoffs, I think, you know, everybody's ready to go and, and excited to get going. 
What does it mean that you guys won six in a row against Winnipeg uh, in that series? Um, you know, as of right now, it means nothing. I mean, for us, like during the season, it, it was great. It got us to the spot where we wanted to be going into the playoffs. And now, I mean, everybody knows that that playoffs is a different animal. And, um, you know, whatever happens in the regular season doesn't count anymore. So, you know, we're going we're going in there as a hungry team and a team that that has something to prove. So, um, you know, like I said, we're excited to get going and, uh, you know, it's a, it's going to be a big test for us. Thank you. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Jajar, last year, you know, you and James Neal and Alex Chase on you guys, even down the stretch, but then in the, in the bubble, were really effective. It does seem that that size can be an advantage more if you use it correctly. What did you learn about the playoffs for yourself last year that you feel you can take into this year and be better or the same? Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's somewhere where I've never been personally. Last year was my first uh, taste of it. And, you know, it's exciting. It It's made for, for as you can see, I mean, from the games that have been playing, they're, they're physical games. And, uh, you know, us that, that have the big bodies, we're, that's our, our chance to um, you know, make a contribution during the playoffs. It's it's going to be a physical series. It's going to be, um, you know, grindy games, and it's just just who who can do it better. Did you find out? Do you feel that that was better suited for you? Because that was your first time, and you played well. What did you like about it that maybe was allowed you to accentuate your skills? Yeah, I, I like the I like the physical games. Um, you know, the intensity of those games are are a little bit uh, a little bit more fun for myself. And um, it's and I, you know this year it's I, I believe it's going to be the same just from you know what we've seen and what we're we're capable of doing. So uh, going into it, just kind of you know building off last year and. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a sour, sour taste in our mouth leaving the bubble early last year. And uh, like I said, we have something to prove this year. Jack Michael, 630 Chad. Jujar, I'm going to start with you if that's OK. And um, maybe if you could just pretend Darnell isn't there. <laughs> um, I uh, wanted to ask you, you were first called up, I think, in the spring of 2016. How has the team's leadership evolved since you first came up to this club with Darnell obviously being a key piece of that? Uh, it's, it's been, it's been huge. Um, you know, just the maturity of the group as a whole, especially the, the leadership group. It's, it's been huge. It's been awesome to see. And, um, you know, these guys, the leadership group, they want to win just like the rest of us. And, you know, they, they lead by example out there and, um, you know, for the rest of the group, we're we're gonna follow for sure. Uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, we have a we have a young leadership group, but everybody has experience um, at this stage in their careers, and um, just to just to see that, you know, there's trust from us in them to uh, to lead us, and we're gonna be there uh, right behind them or or right with them. Sorry, following. And Darnell, for you. Uh, and I'll wait for the pan if you want, but I, uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit because I remember you saying what Todd McCollum brought to the group, and that's having faith in you and other young players and not worrying about how old you were, but just giving you the opportunity to get your career going. What has Dave Tippett done for you and this team when you think of his contribution? Yeah, I think... Uh... You know, when, when uh, Tip came in, we were, we were kind of, you know, that high-flying team, uh, trade chances with you and uh, not be afraid to, to get into a 5-4, you know, 4-3 track meet on any given night. Um, and what, uh, what what he's brought to this group is, <clears throat> you know, gotten us as a team to, to buy into the importance of playing defense, of checking well, of, you know, to have success in this league, especially this time of the year. Um, it, it's it's to winning your battles, you know, um, playing on the right side of the puck. So <clears throat> I think Tip is uh, for us as a group was exactly what we needed, <clears throat> exactly what we needed. And as a uh, you know, as a player, I think I could, I could speak for for a lot of guys and probably everyone in the room uh, has brought brought out especially on that defensive and then 
accountability side of, of the puck um, even more than uh, more than we thought we were capable of. So it's uh, a continued work in progress. We're not uh, not close to being finished. We've got a lot, a lot of work to do and, and a lot still to prove, but uh, it's been uh, he's been great for our group and you know, just uh, looking looking forward to building on, on things that we've uh, done to this point this year.